Jasper and I have just got back from our morning walk and it's often on my morning walk that I have, I don't know, it's like just being with my thoughts, things that come up um, and I have like decided to, oh I'm going to start doing it, it's the 1st of November today, just doing um, vlogs, doing vlogs, kind of attempted them before but like never no, I've done them like as like the, the odd one, but yeah, I just thought I'd um, do like a kind of like a, just a weekly vlog, what I'm on about. Um, yeah, I suppose it's November, so I thought I'd start it today to take you along with me throughout the week, the things that I get up to, um, the things that I do, and yeah, I think the reason why I thought of, of, of doing this is that it kind of, I, I think I spend like a lot of time on Instagram showing things like this and um, just think it's just a nice like space just to, to do it on here. Um, so yeah. Yesterday, which was Sunday, was such a slow day. Um, oh my, it was beautiful and my soul feels so nourished. The clocks in the UK have changed so they go back an hour. And um, yeah, so I, I used that extra hour in bed, but I woke up quite early still, and I actually then um, read read my my sorry, it was a squirrel that's just come out of the garden, um, and I read my my book in bed, and I actually finished the whole thing. I'd, I'd only kind of started probably with a couple of chapters, and then finished reading the whole thing, and it was just it was wonderful. I really like to have a Sunday where I have nothing planned in my diary and really trying to like get into this whole thing like my available time is not my hang on no my free time is not my available time and so rather than like at one time I would have like filled it with things things to do because I would have been like yeah I'm free on a Sunday now I'm like no I'm, I'm not not free um I'm not available because I'm just recognizing more and more that my soul <laughs> needs that time to just like have nothing planned in in the diary just to kind of li really intuitively live the day um so i think like in the week we are very much we you know everything's like timed um or is having to be somewhere and even like i am trying to like live slower and more mindful but you know it, there's still there's still ultimately like a lot of um doing energy and I just really needed yesterday is like this really big reset. Like I could feel myself like the way to describe it. Um, I felt like I was out of alignment, let's just say. And I had the time to do things, but the energy wasn't there. And I, and I knew it needed to be like a whole, just like slow down, check in, reflect. Um, yeah, so it was just, it was wonderful. It was such a nice day really slow day, lots of quality time with Ollie as well. Um, so yeah, so it's, I've, it's it's Monday today and I'm just already feeling the benefits from having that slow day, like my head space is like in, I'm just in a much better place with my head space. And yeah, so I've come on, it's now like time for me to do my work. I've just got my planner out and I love this. This is the Inspired Stories Planner and I have then ticked all my habits and um, things that I do in the morning, like my morning routine is done. So that's like a really nice way to start the day. Whereas last week, it just completely went out the window. And I was just gentle with myself because, you know, that, that's life. Those things happen. But really reflect, going deep, like, why wasn't I doing those things? And that's because I hadn't had that, my slow soul Sunday um, the week before. And um, so, yeah, just, just that, that gentle reflection on those things. So they're done, and then on a Monday morning is very much like an admin kind of day. I checked in with my members on my online space, and now I'm going to start to then plan in workshops that I've got for the for the end of the year, and they're all online workshops. So I'm doing like a relaxed one, which is um, like a meditation, like how to basically improve your ability to relax, and we're covering things. Um, like things to do like meditation practices but then also um things that, like help you sleep better and I really try to empower people with the tools rather than you know I think I think if we understand things then we're more likely to to put them in place so yeah I'm just in the process of doing that and then another workshop as well is 
when we, I wanted to do a workshop, I spoke about this on Instagram, but a few years ago, this is what I kind of like recognised and have done a lot of work around. I, um, like many, fell into that whole trap of, you know, this like new year, new you, um, kind of getting so out of routine before Christmas time and being like, oh, I'll start like in January. But actually then my mental health really suffered then over that Christmas period. Um, and... I, you know, I just feel like it's just like a loop, like a big long loop cycle every year and then January would come and I'd make these changes, nothing would last and kind of like this is then when I found yoga and then all those things kind of changed and so I wanted to then reach out and like help people so that's when I was like oh I'm going to create this workshop to basically protect your energy and nourish your mental health around Christmas and New Year so that we don't fall into this um like diet culture um crap basically um you know just kind of like protecting your energy from all those adverts that we will just see filling up our social media and on tv just everywhere we go and um so yeah that's what i'm gonna be i'm just gonna be organizing that so they're they're all online i need to do my newsletter because i was going to do it at the weekend and i just wasn't in the right headspace and you know i have to, i know i still think like it's an exchange of energy then like i'm pouring my energy into the newsletter and i want you to then like get the best out of it rather than just like like not not really get much, much from it um so yeah just making sure the intention's there so yeah really covering that we might then have the time but do we have the energy and so the the two work so 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 closely together um, in yoga, we call it, so the time is like a stay of this protection of our time, um, and then stealing of our time and also of other people's time, and then also brahmacharya, which can be interpreted as quite a few different things, but just this protection of our energy, and um, so yeah, protection of energy, value and of time, and the two work together. How cute is this teapot? I'm just so in love with it. Um, so when I'm doing any admin work, which are the days that I'm not at the studio in the morning, then I always like to have a pot of tea. And this one, this teapot is from Oliver Bonus. And then this little teacup, um, this little cup, rise and shine, is also from Oliver Bonus. They were bought like at two totally separate times, but I just felt like they worked together. And then how sweet is this? Like, I just adore things like this. And it was from, I'm gonna link it in the bio, um, Ollie and I went away to Norfolk and um, yeah, I got it from there, so cute. This cute little, cute little pot. Um, yeah. You're so cute. Are you so cute? Oh, you are, aren't you? Do you want to snuggle? Just going to have a little snuggle on the sofa. <laughs> I am very much loving you right now oh i got through that the first season so quickly well <laughs> into the second one as well oh, so good so good i am at the studio now i've got here quite a little bit earlier than what, what my time in my class actually starts and the reason being is that um on saturday when i was here i took home all the bolster covers the eye pillow covers and all the blankets and just gave everything a really big, um, well, a big wash, put it in the washing machine. Anyway, so I've now got this mountain of bolsters that need their covers putting back on. I did the um, eye pillows. These beautiful eye pillows are by the lovely Yogi Pod. I highly recommend them. I've got them in lots of different um, patterns as well. Um, what's the other one? The other style? That one? What is it? Oh. Oh yeah. It's that one. The collection of three. Um, so I did those ones while I was just watching the TV yesterday. I'm just going to do that so not chopped off. Um, but yeah, bolster covers. They all need putting back on. <laughs> very much wish that it was as quick as that time lapse. <laughs> it took half an hour to get all those bolsters done. But they're all fresh. Um, 
It smell really nice actually. So all fresh, you can't smell that. They do. Smell all fresh, ready to go for classes. And I've got a little bit of time now just to ground, to arrive, get my energy ready for classes this week. Um, yeah, that was very much like taking yoga off the mat. I really had to tap into my tapas, <laughs> my perseverance, determination, not giving up when I couldn't get the bolster in or the zip or not. See? It's the little things, it's the little things that it comes into play, not giving up, not having a little tantrum or a pity party because I couldn't get the zip done, but yeah. <laughs> I've just finished teaching classes at my studio this morning. They did a chill practice and then um, a meditation. I do a free meditation at the studio every Tuesday um, after my class. And then I'm going to do some filming now for my online membership and it is a really deep and stretchy practice quite challenging um with some balancing postures as well really working into opening into the hamstrings um so yeah tripods all set up ready to go microphones are ready to go as well so yeah let's do this with the lovely Jess. It's the Empowering Path podcast. And we spoke all things to do with self-care, with yoga. Um, oh yeah, just feeling all the energy and vibrations from it. I will put the, the details in the description box. Oh, I forgot what you call it. Um, yeah, so you know where you can find Jess. And yeah, I'm feeling Really energised now, ready to head down to the studio again today for this evening's chill class. It is Wednesday morning and Wednesdays are working from home day. I have just finished my morning routine like I do every morning and then yeah, ready to start the work from home. So today's list, to-do list is filming my meditation practice and philosophy practice for my online membership, for my lovely souls. We are working through the, the chakras on the membership and we are at Vishuddhi, which is our throat chakra, um, and talking all about working with our truth and how it guides us into our alignment and how we can really feel in this space when things are out of alignment because we are not living, speaking, um, doing our truth if you kind of think sometimes when we say yes when we really mean no and we say no when we really mean yes that really takes us out of our, our alignment so yeah this this week's practices are all about like how we can work with that um yeah so anyway i'm gonna get um filming that otherwise this will turn into a philosophy video because that's what I'm like. I just kind of like go off then um, talking about these things. I'm kind of like, get with it. So yeah, I'm gonna press start with the recording and do the filming. Hey Bert, have we just picked you up from grandma's? Let's picked you up from grandma's house, haven't we? You had a little sleepover last night. You spend some time with grandma and then it's now time to come home and do some work. She's gonna see your daddy. <gasps> go and find your daddy. Let's go and find your daddy. <laughs> because we've missed you. Because we've missed you. Yes, we have. So I have come home from spending time with my grandma this afternoon with a break in between work and come back to a few deliveries that I just thought I would share with you. Um, these are things that I've all bought myself. I don't regularly get lots of deliveries but i seem to have had them all about today so i thought i would share them with you and this first one is the gua sha and i've had one of these before but when we went on holiday i had it in the bottom of my toiletry bag I dropped my toiletry bag on the tiled floor and it, and it broke and um, so i have got a replacement so this is this one's from love on a sunday very much my vibe with like the pearly kind of colors um and 
love 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 the gua sha feel on my face and it's, it just releases so much tension that we have from from stress just from like things like clenching our jaw and just helping to release those muscles within our face just like we would any other muscles within the body i when i was quite new to gua sha um i kind of like looked at youtube tutorials and things but actually wanted to like working with somebody who who knew what they were on about with it and there is this really lovely woman called Abigail um, who I highly recommend and she's actually just opening a new place in, in Newark in Nottingham um, which is opening next week I think and she does Gua Sha facials they are incredible they are so incredible um, so yeah just that way of taking care of the muscles in your face like you would anywhere else in the body um, so this one is from Love on, Love on a Sunday um, an extra shot so I have my gua sha and then this is something that I pre-ordered ages ago from the wonderful Adele and Celeste. It's the Too Flexible to Feel Good book and I'm so excited to dive into this. I have done Celeste's in-person trainings, her online workshops, I've done Adele's workshops. They are both so incredible and inspiring, so knowledgeable and I've learned such a lot which has really helped understand by my hypermobility of my hypermobile body and also just knowing how to like modify for other people who are coming into into my class as well so um really looking forward to getting stuck into that book and the final thing is this cute little bag from billabong so i had a voucher for billabong and saw this and i was like i know what i'm going to spend my voucher on um which is really cute so it's um, a little bag, but also a bum bag as well. So it's got the handle there and then the bum bag bit. And I, I don't really use a handbag, and, but I just wanted something then that was quite small just to carry it also then can wear over my shoulder or in true bum bag style. And it's big enough for me to get my purse and my sunglasses in as well. And then my phone and my keys. And that's all I need. Um, usually in the winter time, I would just use the pocket in my coat, um, but that sometimes if I'm not wearing that coat and I need something, then this is it without something being too big. And I often find, like I love rucksacks, but they can just be massive. And I've got one, really cute, it's really, really small. So I kind of like need like a, an in-between size. So sort that. I know it's not a rucksack, but yeah, I love it, love it, I love it. Um, so, right, it is now time for me to do some work. I need to get the editing and uploading done for my videos, for my membership. I don't ever do too much editing. It's just the beginning and the ends of me walking around to the screen, <laughs> uh, to walking around after I've pressed hit to record and walking over to my mat and then back again. So yeah, just get those done and get those uploaded and then create the pages ready to embed onto my website. So as it is Wednesday in the evening, I and I'm, I don't teach at the studio on a, on a Wednesday evening, but this is where my couch can then do take a little bit more time to do cooking. Um, and so yeah, I'm just I've finished doing all my editing, and the videos are just uploading now. So just need to wait for the internet just to work to do that. Well, the internet is working, but the internet needs to do its job. And then uploading those videos so i'll just leave those those now um and then yeah just cooking dinner and then i'm gonna chill out and watch an episode of you on netflix before we have dinner um i'm cooking a dal curry i have just kind of put together whatever i have in with this and um, different spices and then I've got the lentils and coconut milk cooking and then just lots and lots of vegetables i've got mushrooms Red peppers, yellow peppers, red onions, butternut squash, um, yeah, and then, and then the lentils and the, and the coconut milk. So that will just be cooking away whilst I then watch Netflix. Yeah, often like when I do cooking and stuff, I just like one big pot <laughs> kind of dinners, then we'll have it with some rice as well. And I always double the amount so you only, was it you cook once and then eat twice. So on a Sunday, I always do Sunday dinner and then we have Sunday dinner on a Monday. Tuesday, 
my grandma does does us a dinner and then you know wednesday would be like wednesday dinner and then thursday so it works out quite well that when i finish teaching at the studio i don't have to do any cooking or anything when i get back so i would have already done it um so yeah this helps me just to be a little bit more organized and then make sure that i am eating very nutritious hopefully delicious um dinner <laughs> So I'm just going to put these um, vegetables in now, and then the mushrooms. You probably like supposed to put these in, you know, in a different order. But now I'm just like. Hello, little Alice. Little sassy pants. Was that your pants, Alice? Oh, you are just the cutest little thing. Are you so cute? Are you so cute? Are you with your big sister? No, that's my big sister. I mean, <laughs> your mum. <laughs> you're working with, you're working with my big sister, who's your mummy. She's your mummy. Are you come to work? Got my cup of tea. Oh. And I've always been back, which I just keep on sinking right down into. Um, so today I have been working from home this morning until around about lunchtime, and then went to go and see the osteopath, and then had my toes done. I always just have white um, gel on my toes, which lasts for months because I can never do it myself very well. And then it has just gone twenty past three. I've got a one to one now, and then well shortly and then i've got two classes this evening so i'm going to pop back on a video tomorrow and talk to you all about my experience with the osteopath it's something new that i've started um, going to but absolutely loving it so i will share my experience with you tomorrow it is saturday afternoon i have been at the studio this morning teaching a flow meditation class followed by philosophy and then I did an uh, alignment workshop which I absolutely loved it just yeah a very lovely day and I just got home and I am going to uh, edit this vlog and then get this going live I've still just got a um need to do my email that will be going out to my mailing list so I'm going to get that finished with some online workshops that I am doing that I've got coming up. Now what else have I been? Oh yeah, and then just like a couple of changes. I've just made some updates to, to my website. Um, so yeah, just gonna work through those and then ready for switching off um, for the weekend. I try to have um, from Saturday afternoon to an all through Sunday until Monday late morning off um socials um just off work and normally i wouldn't be working this late on a saturday afternoon but um there's things i want to get done and um that's my choice and wanting to do those things which i am i'm really looking forward to, to getting done just tapping into that creative energy and just riding that creative wave um but i did just want to although i'm wrapping this vlog up i did say that i would speak about the osteopath that I went to that I went to see on Thursday. Same time's gone so quick. Like it's Saturday afternoon, and um, but yeah. So I have been seeing an osteopath. It's just something new. I have kind of was just curious about seeing what the experience would be like with an osteopath, and you know, I, I just feel like you can learn so much from these incredible professionals. Um, so yeah, I booked myself in with an amazing osteopath based in Nottingham called Alex, and he knows he, he just knows so much and I learned so much from 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 um seeing him I went last week so last Friday the first time it was like um like initial assessment you know um, like a check-in and things and then he did a treatment and then on Thursday kind of went straight in with the treatment I understood things like on a deeper level with my with my body physically and um yeah, absolutely love the whole experience. So booked in again to go and see him next week because 
there isn't, I'm not going to see him like with any pain or anything. It's just sometimes just like niggles and different sensations that I experience in certain asanas, certain postures within my practice. You know, yoga helps you to be more body aware. Um, and he was saying that like, that's amazing to be able to like go at, at that time before things get then to a point where the sensation is so loud that it's then like a pain speaking um, to you so loudly that it in, impacts daily um, movement and things. So mine's not at that level, nowhere really near, and it, and it's not painful when I come into certain postures. It's just that that discomfort, and I'm just like mm, things aren't quite right there. Um, so some of the biggest things like working on are it's like my ankle mobility. I don't have a lot of ankle mobility. I have um, hyper mobility in my toes, <laughs> and I have a really high um, arch in my feet. And so yeah, I, I just don't. I kind of compensate in in um, in other areas. Uh, but yeah, so working more on like ankle mobility. So I've got some um, squats to work on, but the form is very different. Um, so working on those. And I just kind of explained to him like certain postures that I that I struggle with and just not too sure how to what what progress to what I can do to progress in those areas. Like I've kind of like done everything that I know within my within my knowledge and my skills. And not that I'm like, oh like forcing all things or like I want to be able to do that posture. I'm just curious as to why my body quite can't quite get into it. So one of the miskandasana, um, which I just can't, I can hold it within within hips and things, but I can't get my heel on the floor. Um, and that is basically the lack of ankle mobility, nothing else, just my ankle mobility that I need to work on more. So I've got exercises for that. And then we had the, um, there was like an adjustment within, so around my neck and things, I was having like quite a bit of tightness and it's basically a muscle um, that attaches and that was really tight. So I managed to release that and I can just then move freely without any, without that tightness and without that restriction um left hip that was what was kind of like it was almost causing like a pinching sensation in my left um on the inside of my left hip and this is basically just um my my pelvis not quite functioning properly so I had just a few adjustments there which was amazing this made made such a difference um so I can feel like I'm moving smoothly and I'm freer through through that area um it made me giggle because he said as well with my neck and then he's like oh I've noticed, I've noticed that improvement and he then said that any more movement and I would be an owl um so this is where and it's it's all about functional movement because obviously being an owl is not going to be a functional movement but the fact that then I've got that full range of motion um in that joint is is amazing because I didn't quite have it there because of that tightness I'm trying to think off the top of my head um what else there was but yeah just understanding my hip on a deeper level and then I had like um my hip flexors massage which oh my gosh because your hip flexors like are sitting really deep um it's not something I've never had it done before but oh it's it's incredible such a release um so yeah if you are in Nottingham highly recommend um Alex I'll leave his details below um but if you I'd, I'd highly recommend seeing an osteopath wherever you are in the world. Um, yeah, they're really amazing. Just understanding your body more. And I do find anatomy really interested, really interesting, sorry. And um, so yeah, knowing a little bit more about that. Um, if you have any questions around it or you want to ask me anything, then pop them in the in the comments box and I will get back to them. I'm going to try and do my vlogs regularly so I can always answer them in the next vlog as well. Um, and I think that was everything that I'd kind of like thought, oh, I'll, I'll pop on and say. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to like sign off now from the vlog for this week. I don't even know how long it's going to be when I put everything together. Um, but if you made this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you thought, uh, things you'd like to maybe see more of, things that you liked, any feedback is so welcome. And I hope that you um, enjoy well, you might not even be watching this at the weekend, actually. I'm like, enjoy the rest of your weekend because it's um, Saturday afternoon as I'm filming this. But yeah, whether you're it's in the morning, I hope you have a lovely day. If it's the afternoon, I hope you have a lovely evening. And if it's the evening, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And um, yeah. Mm -hmm.